Hey, it's Jeremy again. I'm gonna be showing you how to create some shading on objects in Illustrator. I'm gonna show you some four simple ways you can create an impact and really make your objects or illustrations stand out. So I use these ways, but there's plenty of other ways to shade um, objects in Illustrator as well. But I'm gonna show you some really simple ways. So I've got four circles here that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna go to the first one. And the first one I'm gonna do is a gradient. So you can see here I've just got circle. What I'm gonna do is select it, press Control C, Control F which will paste a copy in front. So you can see that, let's drag it out to show you. So I've got a copy in front and I'm gonna to go to my gradient panel on the right hand side. To open that, you go to window and click gradient, which is in the middle. So once you've opened that, you'll get this window up and you can see now what I wanna do is select this bar. So once I click that bar, it's gonna add that gradient to the circle. So you can see here, if I move it out, you can see it has a gradient. And what I want to do is make sure that we use the same color for both sliders. So you've got two sliders here, which controls the gradient. You can also press G and drag the gradient in the direction you want it to go. Which will, if I just show you, and it also controls the density of it, the feathering, which is pretty handy. So I'll just control Z that. So we've got our gradient here. So we're gonna um, make sure that one of the sliders is on 0%. So you can see this is 100% both, but we wanna select one and make it 0%. This makes sure that the transition from the hue is like, it fades out nicely and it's smooth. And I'm gonna change the angle to 120. So I imagine the light is hitting from the corner. And what I'm gonna do to make it look like a shadow now is gonna multiply. So select it, multiply like that. So you can see here the angle it fades out nicely there and you can see the original color and then the multiply multiplies the color which makes it like a darker orange which makes it like a shadow and then once again we can play around with this slider to control how much of the density we want it so we can bring the slider up we can control this little um, diamond shape there which controls the location or the percentage we can drag this one down as well so you can see there you already got some nice effects but i like to have it smooth like that so that's one way of adding a nice shading. And you can see it's starting to look three-dimensional, whereas before it's just like really flat. But just by adding that simple grading, it adds it a bit of more, you know, of style and, and flavor, it makes it a bit more realistic. So what we're gonna do again is we're gonna do another gradient, but this time we're going to use the appearance panel instead of the gradient panel. So I'm gonna select this um, object and I'm gonna go to my appearance panel you can go to Window and Appearance to open that. And what I'm gonna do is click this little button on the left-hand side that says FX, which means FX. And then we're gonna go click that and go up to Stylize. Then we want to go to Inner Glow. So what Inner Glow is gonna do is going to, sim it's similar to the other gradient tool, but it's gonna add it on the edge or the center. So you can see here, it's on multiply again. We can also flick through that and you can see different effects. So you can add, if you want it like darker, but I'm gonna leave it on multiply for now and I'll put it on 80%. And you can see here the blur. If we can control the blur by, you know, I'm holding shift and just clicking so it goes up in tens. So you can see the blur, it increases that radius so it goes more into the middle, right? That's if we select the edge but if you want to change it, go to click the center. So instead of the shading coming from the outs, outer ring or the outside, it will start from the middle of the object, from the center point, and it will go out like that. So that's, if you want to create shading in the middle, maybe that there's, it's like an orb and it's surrounded by a light, or maybe, um, you know, the light is directly on top of the object and it's hitting down and this object is flat below and then the outer is going to be more shaded. So you can add that, I like the look of this, and I'll press OK. And you can see that it adds some nice shading on the sides there. And the cool thing about this appearance panel is you can just turn it off. So you can see he got the effect added. You can just turn the eyeball off and it's gonna turn it off. Just like that. And if you wanna delete it, you can just press the bin and it'll delete it. And I'll press Control Z to leave it there. And I'll just drag this back there. Cool, so there's two ways of adding shading. Um, for this one, we're going to add a hard shading. So I'm going to press P for the pen tool and I'm going to left click and then I'm going to drag and then I'm going to go around. If you don't know how to use the pen tool, I've got another video 
um, on the playlist, so just check it out. And I'm gonna select these two objects now and press Shift M. You can also locate the Shape Builder tool on the left here, as you can see. It's got like two circles on the mouse. And what I'm gonna do is hold um, Option or Alt if you're on a PC and minus this shape off. So I'm gonna click, left click on that, it's gonna minus it. Now we have this shape here. So we pretty much cut it off, the excess, and we have this shape on top. Now what I'm gonna do is press Multiply. So go to my Transparency panel, which you can locate here as well. And yeah, there we have it. We have a really hard shade. And we can drop it to like 40% or whatever you want. So it's a more harsh shadow. And it's really nice. And you can do the same thing for if you want to add like a highlight. You do the same way, but on the opposite. So cool, we've got that. And then now for this one, I'm going to show you how to add like a shadow below the object. So I'm going to hold Option and just copy this circle and hold Shift as well. And just drag it down. What I'm going to do is go to the top bounding box and you see this. I'm going to hold Option and pretty much drag this in. And it's going to squeeze that shape like that. I'm going to drag it below this circle. And I'm just going to drop it in a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this dark, the same color as the background. And I'm going to go to my transparency panel and go multiply. So you can see that that's a really hard shadow which really looks really nice. So it looks like it's floating. Um, you could probably add another, you know, I'll just copy this gradient. Put that on top. And I'll change this. So it just adds a bit more depth there. So you can see that, and it looks like it's really dark down the bottom of the object. So I'll just delete that. And if we want it to make it more soft, um, there's a cool way to do it. We can select our gradients and we're going to select the object and drag this color in my gradient paddle. So I'm just dragging the, I just drag the gray color or that purpley color. So once again, I'm going to select one slider, make it 0%. I'm going to t change the type to radial, which is like a center. And then you see this percentage bar here. We're going to change the proportion. So we want to lower it. So you can see what it's doing. So if you do it higher, it's gonna make it more straight, but we want it to do it like this way. Make it wide and stretched out. So cool, we've got a soft, and then we can just bring this out like that. And it makes like a soft shadow, so it looks like it's a floating ball or whatever. So yeah, there's a four ways to add some shading to objects in Illustrator. Hope this tutorial was helpful. Click the subscribe button if you want to see some more design content. I try and put out videos every week. So, you know, I'll try and keep you updated. So, yeah, thanks guys for watching and look forward to making another video for you guys.